Sophie Pascoe, New Zealand alongside her. Bianca Papp of Hungary. Marie Ustris from the Netherlands. And Spain's Hernandez Santos in lane seven. Uh, New Zealand Sophie Pascoe. Already a silver medal in the 53. Just beaten by Rivard on her right hand side in that 53 style event. Well, this could be a chance for redemption. It's going to be a tight race between Canada and New Zealand. Pasco and Rivard. Very quick reaction off the block by Sophie Pasco. And it's a strong underwater phase for Rivard in lane three. And now coming through Sophie Pasco, New Zealand. She's made up for that start. She's getting into her rhythm. She's setting the pace early on. Orly Rivard will have to react to this. Also going well. Bianca Pat, the Hungarian. Having a strong start, just 16 years of age. It's going to turn very close, second and third, but it's Sophie Pasco who's dominating this race. Well, certainly the standard bearer for Paralympic sports in New Zealand, Sophie Pasco. Uh, she is just showing that she is a six-time Paralympic gold medalist and indeed multiple world champion. This is a class performance. The gold medalist from 2008, she actually dead heated with uh, South Africa's Shireen Sapiro. Not quite on world record time here, but it's a confident, confident display in this uh, preliminary. Well, she has reacted very well under this environment and just gliding through to the finish there. Sophie Pascoe wins comfortably, 107.23, over two seconds quicker than the previous heat. Rivard to settle for third as Pat just touched out in second. Sophie Pascoe just having a look at her time. Outside of her personal best, but very consistent swim for the New Zealand athlete. There's Bianca Pat, the Hungarian, touched in second. One to watch in the final. Pascoe not looking overly delighted with her time, but she did dominate her heat almost two seconds ahead.